There is a blockchain war happening in Korea. Based on this chart, you can see the points of attack and all the bloodshed which occurred in 2017. <laughs> that means just kidding in Korean. There's no violence and physical threat because Korea is very safe. I mean, look at this picture. You can walk away from your wallet, go to the bathroom, return, and the wallet is still there. Okay, so let's get back into blockchains and what is really happening. In this conference, I interview blockchain accelerators to find out what they are doing. You'll get answers on how they started, what type of projects they're focusing on, and why they are doing reverse ICOs. So watch. So welcome, this is Sung Jae. He's the founder CEO of Foundation X, the Korean blockchain accelerator. Can you tell us about Foundation X and your purpose? <laughs> okay, uh, I'm Jay Huang. Nice to meet you, everybody. Uh, the Foundation X is a uh, you know, blockchain accelerator uh, focusing on the blockchain disruption and uh, you know, technology and the platforms. Uh, so basically, uh, our company is uh, you know, uh, inherited by the Future Play, uh, one of the well-known accelerator existing in South Korea, uh, which I co-founded, and the company have incubated and invested over uh, 80 different types of the techie startups so far, uh, including IoT, wearable, VR, AR, you know, the artificial intelligence. And the one we faced at the moment, the, the last year, is that you know the blockchain wave, the big wave, uh, is coming. So. Uh, we found another company, the subsidiary of that company, you know, focusing on solely on the blockchain technology. So uh, Future Play is uh, taking care of the, uh, you know, the, the non-crypto world, like a physical, uh, and the Foundation X is uh, taking care of, uh, you know, the blockchain world right now. Wow, oh, that's awesome! Yeah. yeah, we need more people like you to focus on the blockchain technology. Uh -huh. So, what gave you the idea, like, to start? What made you inspired by blockchains? Uh, you know, the blockchain is not only the um, technology, but also that's about the uh, community that the user can incentivize or user can participate in using their uh, sweats or their behaviors, whatever. So I think uh, that could be a really good advantage or a chance or a opportunity for the startups to compete with the big companies like Google and Apple and those kind of things. So uh, in the perspective of uh, you know entrepreneur, uh, that's really, really good chance for them to, you know, uh, you know, compete with the big companies. Yeah. Cool, cool, great. Yeah. So, can you tell us in more detail about how you build the communities and how do you select comp or people to incubate? Okay. Uh, for instance, uh, I'm a senior entrepreneur myself, and I co-founded lots of companies. And last one was uh, about the artificial intelligence. That's about the, uh, you know, uh, the. Uh, how can I say the communication method? You know the tools that can apply to you know the chatbots. So uh, what I did is to gather the the meaningful data to enhance the quality of the artificial intelligence technology. But it's not easy. Uh, so I think uh, you know the, by using the blockchain, there could be you know incentivize the users uh, which you know participate in their data. Uh, you know at the you know. Um, you know, advisor as a you know uh, participants onto uh, the blockchain you know community. So uh, it's very good chance for them to have a strong you know the artificial intelligence. So in that way, the blockchain can enhance the um, the power of uh, you know the the services of uh, startups or the products. Great, great. Yeah, That's yeah. awesome. So, yeah. <laughs> I've, I've read several articles that the Korean government is also spending money on blockchain companies. Uh -huh. Can you confirm that? Like, what is your experience of the Korean government supporting blockchains here? All right. So, the uh, Korean regulations on the blockchain is a uh, uh, lot uh, so far, but uh, they are preparing for some regulations right now, I believe, and uh, they uh, want to enhance the. Um, the blockchain technology uh, by you know making some kind of the um, you know incentive mice or uh, some kind of the reasons for you know the blockchain business free uh, free jump I mean so uh, yeah that's the um, the um, the attempt onto the blockchain technology from the uh, government government oh, I great, great. yeah yeah okay cool so <laughs> uh, how long does the process take from like finding a company to getting it do you take the incubation process all the way through an ICO? 
Uh, it depends on what topics they are doing. So, uh, so normally we focus on the reverse ICO, which means that you know existing companies are turning into the uh, you know foundation. Uh, it took uh, normally you know three to six months only because uh, they already have uh, their products, services, users. Uh, so what they have to do is uh, you know just prepare for the foundations uh, to get uh, tokens from the individuals like the ICO. So uh, yeah, it depends on you know what kind of size they are and uh, uh, you know what kind of the topics they are in. Yeah. Oh great, okay. Yeah. And what about this reverse ICO process? I fear it's becoming more common. Like, what's the ratio of regular of one of your um, companies doing a reverse ICO versus a regular ICO? Uh, I think uh, they have a uh, you know pros and cons simultaneously. Uh, the advantage of a uh, reverse ICO is that they already have a uh, tangible users, uh, services, and products. So uh, what they are can do is that you know uh, by utilizing the the blockchain technology onto their uh, products or services. Uh, but you know uh, non reverse ICO, which I mean is uh, just ICO, mm -hmm. uh, is a uh, you know just uh, they have to start the the foundation barely. So. Uh, uh, in comparison with the um, you know the reverse ICO, they doesn't have any resources on like uh, you know the human resources and users and uh, the services. So uh, yeah, I think uh, the reverse ICO has uh, many advantages in that aspect. Uh, but you know uh, the sometimes the reverse ICO has a negative effect, mm -hmm. such as uh, you know uh, uh, they already designed the centered business model. So it's not easy for them to change their model to uh, decentralization. So uh, sometimes they uh, misunderstand what the uh, you know the speed of the blockchain, the, what the you know the decentralization is. So uh, that's the um, you know the negative effect. Right, right. The I was, was thinking of that too. So it's like, uh, do you find it difficult to leverage the actual blockchain technology when doing reverse ICO? In Korea, we're seeing that reverse ICOs are the new ICO. Uh, I think uh, there, there, uh, there are some project that blockchain fits, and there are some project the uh, blockchain doesn't fit. So I think if, if there's a business model can enhance the, by using the blockchain, I think uh, they can utilize the blockchain technology. But if not, uh, I think uh, it's uh, useless. But the thing is that a lot of you know the existing startups want to you know get funded by using the blockchain technology so uh, they just using the blockchain uh, even though they do not need it you know the business model doesn't support that uh, so I think that's the problem but there's some you know existing companies uh, which can be enhanced by using blockchain technology yeah oh, cool. so tell us your top three criteria you look for to incubate a company all right uh, first thing is uh, I, I think uh, you know I normally uh, categorize the blockchain services and project into three layers. The first layer is a technology. It's about the you know uh, token you know uh, I mean transaction per seconds. It's about the consensus algorithm how to make a uh, more faster and vivid and you know proper on you know the transaction. And the second layer is I believe that the governance. That's about the community. Uh, that's about the uh, no, token economy. So that's about the how to design a uh, incentive optimize the users uh, by using their you know the sweats and times and behaviors uh, and uh, make it some kind of the uh, circulation of the you know token economics okay. and the third layer I believe is the business it's about the interaction between the blockchain area and the physical area so uh, but I think the most of you know existing you know project in the blockchain area lacks this area so what we are doing is to fit up, you know, the slow layer uh, by based on the experience that I have, uh, that, that, that I sold my pat patents to the big company, sold my you know, companies to the big company because of uh, strategy. I, yeah, the strategy, strategy and the networks we have and those kind of things. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great, great. So <laughs> if uh, anyone wanted to reach out to you or Foundation X, what's the best way they can get in touch? Uh, I think face-to-face uh, -face is the best. So uh, there's a tremendous number of the conference. But you're, you're like an SEO. CEOs are always hard to get to. You have those uh, 
uh, gatekeepers that you have to have to pass you. Yeah. Right, but uh, you know, I I always hovering around the you know blockchain conference. Okay. So uh, it's not easy. You know, it's it's not uh, it's not uh, it's easy to you know see me in some kind of the conference. I believe. Mm -hmm. So uh, just uh, contact me and. Uh, just explain what you guys are doing uh, face to face. Okay, great. I think that's the best way. So, is there an email you prefer to contact? Yeah, you? yeah, yeah. Email? Of course, yeah. And the Telegram and Kakao, you know. Oh. Yeah, anything. Can you can you tell us the email address? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. My email address is uh, sa at foundationx.io. Okay. Uh, but the, remember that it takes some time to reply. I'm sorry. Okay. You know, there's a tremendous number of uh, you know inbound uh, okay. you know emails. You know. All right. So All right. Uh, that's been the interview with Foundation X out of Seoul, Korea. Thanks a lot. All right. Okay. All right, what is up, everybody? Here we are with Inq Block. This Inq is Block. The David CEO. Yes. And here with the uh, team Kim. lead, Sung Kim. How are you doing? I just saw your presentation. Thank you. It's a good presentation. Yeah. So, can you tell us about Inq Block and what got you to start it? Inq Block에 대한 소개를 해주시고 왜 Inq Block을 시작했는지 말씀해 주세요. 작년에 거래소를 운영하면서 블록체인 기술에 대해서 좀 많이 확보를 하고 이쪽 산업에 대해서 많은 기여를 할수 있는 부분이 어떤 것일까에 대해서 고민을 많이 했었고 그래서 좀 기술 발전과 주 투자와 육성을 할수 있는 블록체인 인큐베이터 사업을 시작을 하게 되었습니다. So uh, we Incubalock has uh, operation of exchange crypto exchange for so we have acquired a lot of uh, network infrastructure and was able to gain much technology uh, of uh, distributed ledgers. So with that uh, infrastructure and technology, we have decided to uh, expand our uh, business to accelerating a company called Incubal. Great, great. OK, so uh, and you guys are based out of here, Seoul, Korea? Yes, so we are based in Seoul, Korea. Uh, it's located at Yeoido, it's uh, uh, west of Seoul. Okay, and can you tell us about the incubation process from start? Like, how do you select uh, people, company to start, and how you complete the process of the incubation? The incubating, 어떻게 시작하는지 초기 단계부터 단계별로 좀 설명 좀 해주셨으면 좋겠다. 크게 네 가지 단계로 있는데 첫 번째로 이제 팀 빌딩을 통해 가지고. 이 원하는 프로젝트 팀 중에 이제 기술력이나 비즈니스 쪽으로 이제 부족한 팀이 있다고 한다면은 그 부분을 보완해 가지고 더첫 번째로 완벽한 필딩 팀 빌딩을 도와줍니다. 한번 끝나죠. So the first stage uh, of the incubation we basically start with the uh, team building um, and how much technology they have. So we look at uh, uh, how far they have come uh, in terms of the uh, business stage. We look at the very early stage of the businesses. Actually, uh, we uh, mostly focus on uh, blockchain startups. Mm -hmm. yeah, second is in education. Uh, okay. 기본적인 이제 블록체인 에코시스템과 이제 기술에 관해 가지고 이제 모두 다 이해도가 높아져야 되기 때문에 어, 그동안 습득했었던 이제 블록체인 성공한 블록체인 프로젝트들 팀과 우리들과 함께 해 가지고. 어, 이런 부분에 대한 기초적인 비즈니스와 기술 교육을 시켜드립니다. Uh, so the second stage is focusing on technology of uh, distributed ledgers. So we believe that technology is really important uh, in order to uh, expand the blockchain services and uh, commercialize the services to the world uh, users. So we focus on uh, uh, bring bring the uh, knowledge level of distributed ledger of the uh, blockchain startups. Yeah. Okay, great. Can you that's the second stage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Last two oh, one okay. is in the in global. Global. 이제 이 블록체인 산업이 좀 글로벌을 좀 원하고 있다 보니까 전 세계에서 한국 진출을 원하는 팀이 역시 우리가 한국 진출을 도와주고 있고 이 우리를 통해서 인큐베이팅 한 팀들의 글로벌 진출을 저희가 직접적으로 도와드리고 있습니다. So the startups are basically uh, come from Seoul, uh, Korea. So we try to uh, expand their business to the globe. So 
uh, the, the last stage will be uh, bringing the uh, blockchain startups projects to the world. Yeah. Oh great, that's yeah, yeah. a good idea since decentralization is all about that. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit more detail how you do that? Are you planning to open offices in other countries or are you planning to bring the company, foreign companies to Korea to incubate them? Uh, so uh, currently we have our office in Seoul. Uh, we believe that once our expansion continues on and uh, our blockchain startups go to uh, overseas, we will have uh, offices, in, offices in overseas as well. Um. So we have the experience of uh, bringing uh, many cryptocurrencies such as Quantum, Neo, Tron, uh, many uh, foreign I guess uh, international blockchain projects to Korea. So with that uh, experience and the network to the global uh, international cryptocurrencies we have, uh, we are able to uh, expand our uh, services to overseas uh, block. We, we are able to bring our uh, existence to the globe. Great, great, thank you. So. Uh what about the specific technology blockchain? Since you mentioned couple like uh, Tron, Icon, Ethereum, and all that, mm -hmm. uh, when you incubate a company, do you make a decision which blockchain they should use, what tools they should use, or do you leave that up to the company? So uh, basically, uh, a lot of uh, blockchain startups have different, I guess, um, different styles. Uh, I guess their business styles. Uh, they may suit it to some protocol. They may not some, uh, uh, suit it to some other protocol. So we try to measure that first, and then we try to match that. Uh, if this business has uh, is best suited to, I guess, Tron or. Ethereum, maybe they do better start with Ethereum, they will start with Ethereum. But, uh, we look for the uh, suitability of the project business first and then we match. With okay. the uh, so Incubalog is actually at the uh, very early stage. Uh, we have uh, been in the service for four months. Uh, therefore, we don't have the, I guess, the most successful uh, token uh, or cryptocurrency right now, but we are accelerating and incubating uh, uh, some, uh, I mean, 15 cryptocurrencies right now, but they are not, they are not out to the world yet. Uh, two of them, uh, we believe, are the uh, most successful, will be successful in the future. Uh, they are named uh, Simverse and Zip. Oh, okay, Simverse and Zip, can you tell yeah. us what they do, what their uh, mission is, business? Uh, yeah, Simverse uh, or Zip, Simverse 같은 경우는 이제 플랫폼 코인으로 준비하고 있는데 기술적 완성도나 이제 분산이나 보안 쪽을 상당히 뛰어난 게 준비가 되어 있고 집 같은 경우는 이제 건축 관련 해가지고 어좀 많은 이제 투자나 이제 그런 부분을 연결할 수 있는 프로젝트입니다. Uh, the first is basically a uh, protocol. Yeah, um, they use uh, dis distributed ledgers. Uh, I, I think it's very similar to um, other protocols, you know. 
or like icon or uh, just neo or quantum. Uh, and one other one, Zip, uh, is the uh, cryptocurrency related to real estate. Okay, great, great. Um, so anybody that has a business idea and they're starting a business and want to find an incubator, how do they reach out to Incubla? 이제 인큐블럭에 이제 접근을 해서 어떻게 하면은 이제 인큐베이팅을 받을 수 있는지에 대해서 네, 설명해 주시면 될것 같습니다. <웃음> 기본적으로 네 가지는 준비해야 된다고 생각합니다. 팀과 어, 토큰 그리고 이제 테크 그리고 타이밍 이 부분만 준비되어 있다고 한다면 나머지는 우리가 다 책임질 수 있, 있으니까 열정과 아이디어만 갖고 네 가지로 준비해서 이제 거기에 열정과 아이디어 더, 더 해서 오면은 우리가 모든 걸다 책임져 주겠다. So there will be uh, four things: um, the team uh, and the, the token. I guess should be like a business model of the project, and the timing should be right. Uh, and the technology. If they have uh, four criteria, they can apply to uh, incubating program. It's called it's called block box. So we had this first block box application uh, uh, several actually three three weeks ago, and we had these applicants. We had the selection of the people. So the uh, four out of one team uh, was a was selected. So we have currently uh, 15 teams and five membership uh, teams. Okay. Yeah. And how is the application process done? Is it through your website and is it Korean only, English as well? So English. they are in, uh, they are both in English and Korean. I uh, think we'll uh, also have Chinese cover uh, later. Okay. Yeah. So they apply mm -hmm. and then uh, we'll have this um, like a meeting conference and then there will be um, being uh, seen by uh, uh, venture capitalists or uh, incubating companies. Okay, yeah. great, great. All right, and can you tell us the website or email address for to contact Incuba? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's called incublog.io. Uh, you can go to the website and they uh, we have the application uh, to the blog box. So you can apply and uh, see if you can be uh, uh, selected. Yeah, for future incubation program. Mm -hmm. Great, there you go. That is Incublog, the accelerator based out of Seoul. And you can reach them by this website. So thanks a yeah. lot for the interview, guys. Hey, guys. Okay, thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye bye.